Great sporting city with uh, two football teams here as well, very passionate. Hibernian and Hearts. And if you're a golfer, well, head east of Edinburgh and you have the Gulf Coast of Scotland with some of the greatest links courses in the world. Just uh, being introduced to the judges. There'll be a uh, couple of shifts of those. It's a long test of concentration with 27 divers. Consistency is the uh, toughest part for the diving judges. Also in the early rounds, trying to decide the standard, as it were. It's where you set the bar. you can see across the surface there is just used particularly for the platform divers to give them a better perspective on the water not really a problem for the one meter men just to check on the dive order which was randomly decided of course once we emerge with the top 12 then that will determine the dive order for the final later today so it's going to take 12 consistent dives to get on the podium. As we look down there, a good spread of nationalities as well. Interesting to see that uh, Austria has a, a competitor and countries like Sweden as well, who don't get a huge show at the bigger world events get a chance to progress their sport here. How about the divers who will be entering the arena very soon? Patrick Hausting there, the German competitor, just about the most experienced man, the oldest man I'm afraid to tell him, in this one metre competition. He has dominated at these European Championships. No formal introductions. Straight into the action. And it's Guillaume Dutois, the two and a half somersault tucked, who will get this one meter qualifier underway. Switzerland with a small band of divers here in the competition. 3.1 degree of difficulty. 60.45 is our first mark. Need to get the marks up into the eights. Well, Patrick Housting, 29 years of age from Berlin. 13 times a European champion. Dives across the full range from one meter, 10 meters. Astonishingly consistent. He opens up the limb with two and a half somersault tucked. <laughs> Tall commanding figure on the board. High diving standards, they come in all shapes and sizes. solid start Damien Silly from France he's 29 years of age he's got in with two and a half somersault tucked 3.1 
range of degree of difficulty for the divers, 3.1. The opening uh, dives for some of these divers were down to about 2.3 and some up to 3.4. Second French diver, Alexis Jondar. Can we turn our somersault tucked? So he died again. There's another diver with experience right up to 10 metres. Entry not the tidiest, a little bit. Slappy on the water. It's 51 50. See that they fair rattle through the competitors. Spain have a couple of divers in this event. Nicola Garcia Boissier. Back one and a half somersault piked there. It's just a 2.3 reflecting the stage of development. His dives go up to 3-2. Quickly out of that pike. Forty-four eighty-five, not a great return. Giovanni Tocci already competed yesterday in the team event where Italy were fifth. Four, two and a half somersault point. Energetic dive, generating uh, as much height as possible. Very whippy. His takeoff. I like that. 62.40. Some eights in there. Now here comes one of the big stars of the whole European Championships here. Jack Law. Massive cheer from the British fans from the three metre synchro Olympic champion from Rio. And uh, a real star. Probably one of the biggest names in this competition not just a one meter i mean the whole championships he opens with a back two and a half somersault tucked huge power in those legs and the height that he generates compact but so strong into the tuck and holding a perfect line through the water and straight eights that count 72 a strong opening statement second spanish diver alberto alavalo alcon in the two and a half somersault tucked The springboard divers like to kick off with an inward dive it means they are starting on the board and even though they've been practicing on it and warming up on it just gives them that competition feel of the spring rather than actually having to complete the hurdle so inward dives are popular for openers just down in the sixes there for 55 80. Dylan Vork from the Netherlands 18 today. Happy birthday. What a way to spend it. And the two and a half somersault tucked again. It's been a favourite opener.
many different angles to assess the dives here. Even though we've got 15 cameras, we can't use them all at once. You can just see he came out diagonally away from the board. The judges like to see them come straight out into the pool. 55, 80. Juho Juntia from Finland. Back one and a half somersault pike. This is just a 2.3 degree of difficulty, so he really does have to make it very clean to get a decent points score. Divers that really to reach a final would be a bit of a dream come true. 43.70. Obviously, he's going to have to pull out some much bigger scores than that. Bigger dives to come. Now, one man who already has a gold medal in his kit bag to take back to Ukraine is Oleg Kolodi. Ukraine winning the team event yesterday. Tidy off the board there, but had a very good day yesterday when he had to dive as well, of course, off the platform in the team event with Sophia Lusku. Not his finest. Alexander Kostov, interesting character from Bulgaria, but moved to England, down to Plymouth. A real diving centre, original home of Tom Daly, of course. Forward two and a half somersault pint. Two point six for this one. Looking at the position on the board is one of the big things. Getting that impact on the board, finding the sweet spot. 48 10. He's up like a shot after his dive. Long wait between dives. Igor Lapeng from Russia, 21 years of age. Two and a half somersault tucked. Russia are always strong in these championships, but he's a little bit of an unknown quantity. Has been on the Grand Prix circuit this year, but um, pretty unfamiliar with this level of competition. 57.35. Representing Oliver Dingley. Oliver Dingley. English born, but now represents the Republic of Ireland. He's doing a lot to boost the sport over in the Emerald Isle. Not born too far away from here, down in North Yorkshire, Harrogate. Back two and a half somersault tucked. height of the springboard there. Sixty-one fifty, tidy start. More in his locker, I'm sure. In with two and a half somersault tucked for Yuri Narazal from Belarus. Twenty years of age. 
Back on that popular dive again. Well, the one metre board requires so much height to give you the room to get into the right entry position. Just looking to get the legs as vertical as possible. 62. Second Irish diver here, Jack French. 22. Final for him would be a first. Him with one and a half somersault pikes, it's just 2.4. about in the uh, pike there, 48. Johan van Etten, Joey, I think more commonly known as. Two point six, that forward two and a half somersaults. Seems to lose a bit of control on takeoff you could see him just go over to the side and taking off from the corner but he got through it gets 54 60. Lars Rudiger is another German competitor a lot less experienced than Patrick Housding his first European Championships Big moment for him with two and a half tucked, three one. Well, he'll be pleased to get that out of the way and be off and running. Just see that the body shape starting to break on entry into the water there. The second Swiss diver is Jonathan Tsukov. Some assault pint, it's a 2.3. Seven and a half, seven, seven, eight, seven, seven and a half, seven. Decent marks, but obviously a low score because of the uh, tariff there. Jesutek. Tenth European Championship, so been around the block. We'll be looking to get into a final. 2.9 for the Inwood flying one and a half somersault pint. Slightly more unusual choice of dive. legs in that uh, clean position, 58. Stanislav, Stanislav Oliferchik. He's from Ukraine. Two and a half somersault tucked. She looks fairly uh, happy. By her rather restrained standards, I should point out. She seemed a little bit rushed. It's 
63.55. Alexander Molchan. He's the baby of the competition at just 16. Senior championship debut for him. With one and a half somersault pint, it's a 2.4 tariff dive. Looking for a safe start in the competition. Nice tight pint. Satisfactory, I think those marks are in the six and a half to seven. Big cheer now, big cheer for the local lad, James Heatley from the Edinburgh Diving Club. Certainly won't need to acclimatise to the conditions here. This is home for James. Reverse one and a half somersault, two and a half twists, free position, no huck or plank. Certainly flung himself into those twists at the top of his dive. whole family here bronze in the Commonwealth Games at one meter out on the Gold Coast 58.50 would probably get a bit higher in his marks there Lorenzo Massalia Two and a half somersault tucked. Coaches live and breathe every dive, don't they? A little bit sideways off the board there, but it's got it away decently, 60-45. Vinko Palajic, he was in action yesterday in the team event, representing Sweden, they were 7th out of 7, but this is all vital experience for him. In the two and a half somersault tucked. little difference in degree of difficulty across his program two three ones and the rest are all threes six and a half for 60 45 it's going to be so bunched this field when we actually get to a scoreboard at the end of the round Nikolai Schaller representing Austria big team bus to get here. Great to see the 17-year-old flying the Austrian flag. He had a bit of a wander around the board on his uh, takeoff. And from one side to the other side. He finally gets the takeoff. He was a long way back from the front of the board as well, which doesn't help. So just needs a Significant tidy up 41 60, but he's off and running. Nikita Schleicher from Russia concludes the first round. He's another who dives right across the full range up onto the platform in the two and a half somersault tucked again. That favorite dive to open. It's a very neat. Smart diver. He's already picked up some European medals. Silver in the 10 meter synchro last year. Gets off to a 62. 
It's a big long leaderboard to look at. Remember, 12 is the cutoff here. Jack Law, the pedigree diver there, and you'll see plenty of bunching going on. 60, 45, 10 on that uh, first caption for you. So, at the moment, down to Lars Rudiger, but you can see just how tight it is around that middle. Everything can change. James Heatley, the local lad, is the one just uh, chasing the gap. But even though there's quite a gap between top and bottom, nearly uh, more than 30 points, in fact, it's all about what happens around the top to middle. I got through that in about 22, 23 minutes. Dutrois with his second dive. Forward two and a half somersault point. Again, not the greatest takeoff position. Back a little bit angled on the board. Not to be too far forward either. 49-40. Patrick Housting. won this title in 2014 in his home pool in Berlin. I don't think that will be his tidiest. Forward three and a half somersault tight. So uh, all the spins to get away in this dive. He's a long way back on the takeoff. And it's pretty untidy on the entry. The feet were not closed together. And that um, is unusual for him. He very rarely lets his standards drop. Work to do. Damien Silly. He just about made it to anything vaguely resembling upright on that. It was a bit wild. A powerful figure there. Well chested, but. Only just completed it really. 3150. Like a weightlifter. And the second French dive. At least they were close together to have a bit of a chat if that helps them on a long day. Four, three and a half somersault tucked. Again, not the tidiest out on an angle, and the entry position was somewhere below perfect. Right across to the side of the board there. Had to work at that, 49.50. Well, great start to this second round. Nicola Garcia. Bossier. Four with three and a half somersault tucked. 44.85 with his opening dive. Not bad. It's much better, 60 points, that'll give him the Bit of a lift, spring in his step. Giovanni Tocci, decent opener, 62-40. Forward two and a half somersault with a twist. Long way back. On the board in his takeoff. Never really got complete control of it. 48. A bit disappointing. Top man, top of the pile after the first round with a 72. Reverse two and a half somersault pint.
great sense of purpose about Jack Law when he gets up onto that springboard. Big leap in the air, flings himself into it. 67, 20, sevens, capable of higher than that, but if he maintains that, he'll be safely back later today. Which will please the supporters. There's a big draw here in the pool. Roberto Aravalo Alcon now. Open up with 55-80, giving himself a chance. 3.0 for that forward three and a half. And that tuck. Just rotating on a bit on entry. 54. Dylan Vork. Board two and a half somersault piked. This is 2.6. This is his lowest tariff dive of the six. Elevation 52 Yuhu Yuntia 2.6 for this forward two and a half somersault on the pike. Even though the entry angle wasn't at 90 degrees, he did pull it through and make it half decent, but the whole framing wasn't uh, that great. 45.50. Oleg no leg colour D. 3.3 here. That's his. Biggest dive, it's the forward three and a half somersault piked. Lots of power and energy for the team event gold medalist. Again, a takeoff by the way back off the board. Tidy finish to it, seems to have cost him 47.85. He's not really got going yet. Alexander Kostov. Second European Championships. Reverse two and a half somersault tucked. At an angle off the board, and that might have been a bit tidier. 43.50, two dives in the 40s for him. Igor Lapin, forward three and a half somersault touch, that's 3.0. up into the 60s. Don't think he will with that by some street. He's down in the four and a half, 40-50. He's already got a long road ahead. Now on the Dingley he's opened with a 61-50. Another 3.0 die for him. This time the reverse two and a half somersault tucked. Towards the end of the board for his takeoff. Almost over the end of the board. Pulling a nice line through the water. 
the 250. Bit of a drop in standard there. Solid opener for Yuri Arizal. Over three and a half somersault. Tuck. Turn right over at the corner of the board for takeoff. Right on that side of the board, which affects his takeoff. 45. Cat French, 2.6 for this dive. It's got a 2.4, a 2.6, and a 2.5. Two and a half somersault pint again. Been on the wander for his takeoff position. Right across to the left hand side again. Forty two ninety. Down previous dive. Joey Van Etten. Stopping the rotations was the issue there. It's cost him down at 39. Many good dives in this second round. Lots of 40s. Miles Rudiger had a 58-90, so if he can... See this forward three and a half somersault tucked away and make some good progress. Lots of height with his first spring off the board. Good takeoff position. He was a bit untidy on the entry and again 45. The judges are. Proving hard to please in this second round. Jonathan Sukov from Switzerland. In with two and a half somersault. Hearty mouth on the sidelines. Well, a nice entry. It's his third European Championships. Didn't make either springboard final 12 months ago. That's definitely a better effort. Oh, he'd be quite pleased with that, I'd have thought. 66 65. Definitely one of the better dives of this second round. Jack Moore's 67 20 are the best we've seen in round two. What can Andrei Jezutek of Poland produce in the two and a half? Touch position. Opened with 58. Keep progressing up into the 60s, then give him a good chance of uh, progressing. Just held it a little bit longer through the complete dive on entry. But 65-10 is... Uh, Steady progress. Stanislav Olifacek. Generating quite a bit of spin speed there, but then you have to put the brakes on. Right on the edge of the board for the takeoff. Uh, just didn't get the entry quite right. 49.50. And uh, Molchan at 16. 
5.6 on that forward two and a half somersault. He's got another 2.6 at the end, and then he's got a couple of threes and a 3.1 as his program intensifies. 49.40. It always tells you James Heatley from the famous diving family. First two and a half somersault tucked for the British diver. Represented Scotland, of course, here in this pool in 2014. The youngest competitor in the one meter and three meter springboard. So he's used to being in the spotlight. 49.50, it's a dip by his standards. He was just below the cut, remember. Lorenzo's Marsalia's 60.45 was a solid opener. 3.0 forward three and a half somersault. Loads of attack into those rotations. Working hard on his entry position. Wide his stance for the takeoff, but he got the part. Seems fairly pleased. 63. It's decent. Two dives in the 60s. It's in. Second behind Jack Law at the moment. This is Vinko Paradzic of Sweden. Scores 54. Austria's finest, Nikolai Schaller, 17 year old. It's his senior debut, remember? Forward one and a half with two twists. Two point six is the degree of difficulty. 41.60 wasn't a big score for his first, but he needs to get up. He can towards sevens, and he did get a couple in there, but they were discounted, and it's 50.70. Top two and bottom two marks, remember, get deleted, and uh, it's the middle three that count. Forward three and a half somersault tucked for Nikita Schneiker. Opened with a 62 pointer. Accomplished young diver. Former European 10 meter junior champion, but that wasn't championship winning results. 42. It's a bit of a blot on his copybook. Well, whether it was the pressure telling or what? Got through that round extremely sharply. Track law way out ahead there. Masalia also doing well in Shishitek. Tonson Sukov will be pleased to be up there fourth. Housing Tochi Dingley's experience coming to the fore there. Ten, the cut is at 12. James Eatley just there, despite a disappointing second round dive. And now we're back to the chasers. And you can see 12 points separating 11 to 20. There's a bit of a drop off. Guillaume Dutrois. That's a 20 minute wait between dives. His third is a forward three and a half somersault tucked. Tenth. 
after two dives. It's tidy enough. 60 or 49, or he's back up into the 60s. 63, good effort. Well, Patrick Housting had a poor by his standard second dive, a 3 2 here. Two and a half somersaults with the twist and the pike, and looking to get back to his normal, reliable standard. Olympic silver in Beijing, bronze in Rio. Big synchro man. 3 and 10, 67, 20, that's a bit more like it. Damien Sely. Poor second round dive. Again, just not getting into the entry position there. 3 2 for the forward two and a half somersault with a twist. You can see he's coming in at an angle of about uh, 40 degrees, not 90. 38 40. It's not hit it yet. That's his gendarme. had more success at European Championships in terms of getting into finals at 10 metre than he has at 1. His coach seemed to like that a bit better. 57, that's his best dive so far. Nicolas Garcia Boissier. Solid second round dive. He's below the cut. Forward two and a half somersault with a twist. Just need to hold it all the way through the entry. It's better though, 62-40. Giovanni Tocci, decent opening dive, dropped a bit with his second, back two and a half somersault tucked to get back on track. That's better, much better, he had a very decent European Championships last year, fifth at this height and then sixth at three metres, more than respectable, so he'll be very definitely reckoning on being in the top 12 today, that's a little bit of good, 58-50. Now, looking in a bit of a class of his own, Jack Law. First one and a half somersault, two and a half twists. He absolutely shot through those twists. Straight through those and out in time to get into a decent position. He's not even at full throttle yet, 67.50. We'll keep him right up the head. Alberto Alvaro Alcon. It's not far off the cut. Depending on how tidy that forward two and a half somersault with a twist. Pint, it's a 3.2. That's his highest tariff. So, a chance for him to rack up some decent marks. Down in the 5.5s, five 52.80. In the hunt, but would like to be a bit further up the pack. Dylan Falk, 16th, coming in. A 
the birthday boy again, a little bit uh, over the shop on his takeoff position, right on that corner, but can still deliver a decent dive at the end of that. She's managed to do. She's got 57 points. Three dives in the 50s. bringing up the rear at the moment. Forward two and a half somersault with a twist in the pike. He's had two marks in the 40s so far. A bit untidy during his hurdle there. In the 40s again, 48. Kuladi not really found the form that he showed yesterday in helping Ukraine win that team gold. Back two and a half somersault tucked here. to make the final here obviously just missed out on a three meter final at the recent diving world cup again not getting into the right entry position with that and his gesture shows that 45 that's not up to his standards really alexander kostov as well is uh, way down the field and then with two and a half somersault tucked in his takeoff position there. He's best to pull it through. It's better, definitely better, much better. 60-45 after two in the 40s, so fair enough. Igor Lapin. First two and a half somersault tucked. Never got there. Never got anywhere near. And uh, at the end of it, applause. You'd struggle to describe as polite. Links just did not come up in grave danger of not completing the dive, but he just about did. 22.50, that's uh, one to quickly forget. Oliver oh, Dingley. Needs to get his skates on to make the final. Has a reverse one and a half somersault, two and a half twists. Free position. Again, right on the end of the board, toes over the edge on takeoff, and entry is a bit scruffy. Forty-eight points. to where he is in the world. Mars Rudiger. Four two and a half somersaults with a twist. Plenty of attack, plenty of support. Respectable opening dive, bit of a drop in the previous round. European Championship debut. 
a confident feel about much of it. Better, 60-80, that will put him up the board. Jonathan Tuko. Four, three and a half somersault tucked. He produced a very tidy dive in the previous round, a 66-65, which put him up among the qualifiers. Now, can he sustain that throughout his six-dive program? That was a, a nice entry. Oh, he's doing okay. It's another 61-50. Keeps him towards the front of the peloton. Also going decently, Andre Jezutek of Poland. Energetic forward three and a half somersault tux that might have had a better entry angle. Wasn't bad. Fifty-four points. Not a disaster by any means. Stanislas Lifacek. About two and a half somersault, tucked. Needs to get back to the standard of his opening dive. Won't have done with that. Up well short here. And a yard or two of space would have helped him. 1450, unfortunately, there was water in the way. The youngster, 16 years of age, in with two and a half somersault tucked. He's had a 2 4 and a 2 6. This is a 3.1 dive. A bit more ambitious in with two and a half somersault tucked. Give him a chance to get a more threatening points tally. These lower tariff dives been down in the 46 and the 49, so they've not been poorly executed. What's he done there? Oh, 58 90 is better, he's in the sixes and six fives. James Heatley, Great Britain, from the Edinburgh Club, home ground. Dropped a bit into the 40s with his second dive. Back two and a half somersault, tucked. But get back on schedule. Organisers will want him to be in the final. And his whole extended family along with him, I'm sure. Was better certainly. His grandfather, Sir Peter, won five Commonwealth Games medals, three golds in consecutive games. 54. There's more to come from him. He's hanging in there at the moment, I would say. On the back of the lead group, at best. Unlike Lorenzo Marsalia, who's opened strongly as a forward two and a half somersault with a twist, point 3.2, and going well. Only well, would have spoiled his card with that one. Well, there's an eight in there, and we haven't seen too many of those to the pound or kilo so far. 68 80. He's having a good, strong morning. Vinko Palajic. From 
Sweden. One and a half somersaults. Three twists in there. 3.1. A lot of twisting going on. 60-45. Nicola Schaller. The Austrians in the two and a half somersault tucked. He's upped his degree of difficulty. Came off at a strange angle from the board and didn't help his rhythm at all. The experience for him seemingly took off. He was out to the side straight away and landed almost in parallel to the board. 38.75 up my son come on back two and a half somersault tucked 3.04 diver number 27 Nikita Schneiker good opener poor second let's just shrug that one off he's a talented young 20-year-old from Stavropol, moved to Kazan, the uh, self-appointed Russian capital of sport. Well, the World Championships were in 2015, 54 is okay, better, but not his best. At the halfway marker, Jack Law storming away, very impressive from Lorenzo Marsilia. And uh, Switzerland Sukov is also going well. Hausting back in track. Zhezutek Karavsik will be pleased. And where's the cut? And good work from Alberta Aravalo. Uh, Oliver Dingley has got a bit of work, but he's just 0.6 behind. Very close, very close indeed. And really 10 points between 20th and 12th. All to play for. Ole Kuludi will thought he should be higher up than that. First panel of judges have done their bit. We'll have a change panel. Have an hour on the scratch pads. huge amount of work into making sure the judging is consistent at many major championships they bring along their own crew film the uh, dives themselves and uh, and then go through it if somebody's out of sync with the rest of his judging panel can't have a conflame about it you just have to do it right here we go Guillaume Dutois had a decent first half of the competition. Back two and a half somersault, tuck 3.0. 57. He's recovered from that second round dive anyway. Patrick Housting has recovered from his second round dive in the previous and got back up to the high 60s, which is roughly what we'd expect from the 13-time European champion. Back two and a half somersault, tucked. Generally considered stronger at 10 metres than three. But he has got a substantial medal collection 63 that's solid enough uh, 
Daniel Selly has uh, struggled a bit so far. Good opening dive, and then two in the 30s. First one and a half somersault, two and a half twists. And he just cannot find any rhythm at all. He's flaming about, trying to get control of his dives. Seven fifty again. Alexi Jandar, his countryman. First two and a half somersault tucked. Two dives in the fifties. Scraped into the 60s there. Sevens. Sixty-one fifty there. Because Garcia Wassier. Two decent dives in the previous two rounds has done his chances no harm at all in with two and a half somersault tucked. long day for them it's all about sustaining the work right through the six dive program he's dropped a bit there with a 51 15 could have been worse he needs to get up into the sevens with his marks Giovanni Tocci reverse two and a half somersault tucked three zero That might be a bit more near his standard. Started with a 62, then dropped. A little bit back on track. It's a little bit back from the edge of the board there, but a bad takeoff. And just slapping the water a bit on the final stage of his entry. 60 points, that's helpful. At the moment, showing everybody how it's done is of Great Britain in this European Championship diving competition. No Tom Daly here, remember? Well, only has a reporter. Jack Law. In with two and a half somersault point, 3.4. Well, he knows he doesn't have to go for broke in this preliminary round. How tight is that tuck? So the scoreboard to check, 66-30. That's his lowest, but it's still comfortably mid-60s. It's all about how high is your poorest or weakest dive. Keep the disasters off your card. Back two and a half somersault tucked for Adavalo, Spain. He's been respectable so far. Three dives in the 50s. It's another dive in the 50s, 54, which is an indication of just exactly where he is in life. Dylan Vork. He's another three dives in the 50s. You can do no more than do what you can do. If you're with me, back two and a half somersault tucked. to attack his dive 
Trying to really whip himself into a decent entry position, but the rotations didn't entirely stop. 48. This is his weakest so far. Yuho Yunkia. First two and a half somersault tucked. He's a man in the 40s. Very heavy on entry. The most elegant we've seen. Really important that he keeps it going and waving the flag of finished diving. You can see there was nowhere near a vertical entry position there. 36 points. Not what he wanted. Now, Ole Kuladi. A bit of a competitive hangover, perhaps, from his uh, gold-winning performance yesterday. Again, he's lost rhythm because he can't get that entry position. He gave the takeoff plenty of attack right on the front of the board there, but the legs just did not come up and he struggled to complete the dive. 34.50, it's worse. It's going the wrong way. Alex Kostov. Plymouth College, which is kind of its diving school at its base, down in the southwest of the UK. Reverse one and a half somersault with two and a half twists, there is a 3.0. We had a good last dive, up to 60, which would be a good standard for him, not a disaster. 51, not quite as good. Better than his first two, which were lower tariff. Igor Lapin from Russia. A bit of a shocker in the previous round. About two and a half somersault tucked. He wanted to get this one away. Get his confidence back. Better. 22.50 last time. Fell away a little bit at the end with his contact on the water, but 52.50 is a decent recovery. Oh, the Dingley. Haven't seen the best of him so far, the Irish diver. And with two and a half somersault pint, it's a 3-4. Now, if the judge is like that, that will certainly improve his position substantially. It's his highest DD dive. He was the first Irish diver at the Olympic Games for 68 years. He reached the Olympic final in Rio, finished 8th, 64-60. That's far more like it. Best dive so far. Yuri Alazal hasn't quite reached the standard he set in his opening dive. Reverse two and a half somersault tucked. His approach into the hurdles at an angle there, which wasn't the smoothest, and then he got back into a better position on the board for the final contact there. 51. Second Irish dive of diver. Jack French has got out the 40s with his dives yet. Back two and a half somersault tucked. Right on the edge of failing to complete the dive. Now 
Barry goes into the tuck. Just didn't have it to get the legs up. 30 points is pretty well the best he could have hoped for. Jerry Van Etten, forward one and a half somersault, two twists. 24 year old, sixth time at the European Championship, so knows what it's all about. That was just 2.6, so there's not going to be a big points total. Seven, seven, he's seven. delivered it cleanly though with sevens, 54, 60 is a decent return for that dive. Lars Ludiger. On his European Championship debut, remember? Good third round dive. Back two and a half somersault tucked. Just didn't quite engage the core to get the Entry position. Made the entry as clean as possible, but not the greatest. 43.50. Jonathan Sukul. Swiss diver. Two very good dives in the previous round. She's full of hope. Reverse two and a half somersault tucked. <laughs> Tall, very slim. Some good height off the board there. His natural line and height, if he can get a good entry position, it will look nice. There's another 60 point dive, he's doing okay. Shushutek from Poland. <laughs> 54, his previous dive was his weakest. It's another 3.0. And it's uh, towards solid. 60 points is decent. No disaster so far. Stanislav Olifacic. 3.0 here. The reverse two and a half somersault tucked. Make the best of it. Right over on the side of the board for his takeoff, which is a bit untidy, and then had to. Uh, Ride the Bronco a bit. 40-50. No. Sixteen-year-old Alexander Molchak from Belarus. Right on the end of the board for his takeoff in his rotations but again the entry position could have been better another tall figure James. the uh, noise level absolutely soars when James Heatley comes to the board Three and a half somersault point to three point three. This it's a lot of rotating going on, it's really all the way into the water. But it's one of those divers who came to prominence by getting a gold and a silver at the first ever European Games in 2015, not to be confused with these European Championships. 
for uh, an Olympic driven event 51 15 First World Championships last year got to the final in 12th place he's going well here Lorenzo Marsalia that wasn't his best Can you can see that the legs were struggling to make the entry decent, and that's his poorest so far. Vinko Pradzic, Swedish boy, a 60, a 54, and a 60, so he's got plenty to be pleased with so far. Can he sustain it with his back two and a half somersault tucked? He's avoiding disaster so far, pretty successfully. He's a uh, Steady dives, 57. He seems fairly encouraged. Nikolai Schaller from Austria. It was a little bit untidy from takeoff position right through to entry. Right across onto the side and edge of the board there, which never helps. Out of control, which is just the opposite of what they want 36 points. And concluding round four, Kita Schleicher. Reverse two and a half somersault tucked. Needs a good one. Again, he was onto the corner of the board for his takeoff position. Okay, 58.50, find out in a minute how okay when we see the standings after four of six dives each. Jack Law rampaging away. Patrick Housting, the class showing. Jonathan Suko doing very well. Shejutek, Marcelia is still up there. Oliver Dingley has got himself into a better position. Alex's Jean Dard will be encouraged. So to Garcia, the two Spanish boys just about the right side, but Schleicher, Heatley, Vork can all easily close that gap. Bringing up the rear. French and Ali Kuli D, yesterday's gold medalist, way off the pace in this one. Guillaume Dutrois. The less successful of the two Swiss divers. Not bad though, he had a 49 in his second round, but. He's been steady away since then. That was 3.0 dive again, and he gets 63 points. All than respectable. A little hiccup in round two, but since then, the uh, masterful Patrick Housting has been on the money. Didn't get his takeoff at all right there. You could see that he went more sideways than forward. Over to the side, had the experience to still make sure he completed it and got a good entry position at the end of it all. And salvages a 57 for something that could have been a lot worse.
Daniel Selly. Just needs to get back on the bike here. That's loads better. Reverse two and a half somersault tons. He's had three dives in the 30 after a good strong opener. That's much better. Fifty-eight fifty. He'll feel better about life after that. Alexis Yondar. Tenth. He's doing okay. Reverse one and a half somersault, one and a half twists. Impressive height there. Goes down well with the coach. The one who made his mark at those European Games, which were designated by FINA as a junior event in aquatics, which is why a lot of these young divers got a real chance. 55-90 there. Garcia. Going strongly. First two and a half somersault tuck there is a 3.0. His opening dive with his weakest. You can keep this in the 60s. It's just below that at 54. They should still be in the frame with one dive left. Giovanni Tocci, eighth. He's the right side of the cut. Four, three and a half somersault tucked. Four fifty decent. And Jack Law putting on a very decent show so far for the spectators who come to see him. Way out the front, four three and a half somersault piked. Good takeoff position. Seems to have that hang in the air. The entry wasn't his best. Five, five and a half, not really his sort of mark. 52.80, but he's got plenty of spare and knows that, I'm sure. Arvalo from Spain. Again, a messy entry. The reverse two and a half somersault. A little tuck there. But didn't really control his spin speed. 48. Dylan Vogue. Not out of uh, contention here. If he can deliver this reverse two and a half, somersault tucked. He's had three dives in the 50s, so that's a decent mark for him if he can reproduce that again. Committing himself to it. Not really liked by the judges who put him down at 45. Just when he needed it. of Finland. He's a fair way down the pack. 48 is best point so far in the two and a half somersault tucked here.
just could have straightened out a bit more. Didn't make the final of last year, remember, in his third European Championships now. 40-30. Hard work for him today. And for him, only Kuladi. He's better than this. Got a bronze in 2015 at one metres in these European Championships. That is much better. He has other fish to fry, saying bigger, so he will be concentrating particularly on just finding a bit of form. He's got a 67.20 there. Much better. Alex Kostov, the 18-year-old from Sofia via Plymouth. Had one good 60-point dive. Forward two and a half. One twist in there. And that pike. It's a 3-2. Nice takeoff position. Started better than it finished. 35-20, a lot better. Golapin. From Russia. And a bit of a shocker in round three, better in the previous round. It would fly one and a half somersault pint to 2.9. Flying position there with the arms outstretched. Don't see too many of those dives. Entry could have been cleaned up. Sixes and six five for 53 65. Second best dive so far. Oliver Dingley. Got his act together. Forward three and a half somersault tucked. Lots of height. He's the youngest ever British one metre champion when he was 15. In 2009. This is Great Britain debut at European Championships in 2015. Switch to Ireland. 40-50s slip back there. Yuri Narazau needs two really good dives to give himself a shout. Plus one and a half. Those two and a half twists in the middle there, but it was a bit ragged in the latter stages. Thirty six. Oh, the thing is, presence in the Irish ranks should have a ripple further down and encourage. His teammates, Jack French, coming off at an angle there and losing his control. Awful entry, to be honest. To put it behind you, 22.50. Disappointing for him. Jerry Van Etten. Three dives in the 50s. 24 years of age, remember. Back two and a half somersault tucked. Back in 18th. If you could just land one really good mark. I'd still keep him with a shout, but I don't think that will do it. 
go down at 45. Needs to up his game. Rudiger next, sorry. Struggled to hit some real consistency, but he's still in with a shout. He was 16th coming into this. He's had two 40s. That's a bit more back on track. 64.50. That's kept him in the hunt, I'm sure. Remember, we're talking about the top 12. Jonathan Tsukov, Swiss diver. First one and a half somersault, two and a half twists. Again, veered offline on his takeoff, but I think he feels he's doing a pretty decent job here. Got off to a sticky start, but he's had three dives in the 60s. Might not match that this time. But he's avoided a disaster there with 54. Andrzej Czesiutek from Poland. Reverse two and a half somersault tucked there. He's been pretty steady. Marks ranging from 54 to 65 so far. That was a bit untidy on the entry. The legs, the ankles there, splayed, which didn't create the best impression. But he's got 58.50, so he's kept on track. Stanislas, Stanislav, one for a check. Chucking himself through a reverse one half somersault with two and a half twists in the middle. He wouldn't pick up another country's tracksuit by mistake if you're representing Ukraine. They are distinctive. Yellow and blue. 49.50 for Stan. Not quite the man. Sixteen year old Alexander Molchan. Junior Championships the last couple of years he's been competing in. Eighth at one metre, fifth at three metres, so this is a big jump up for him. 34.50, he's finding it hard. Now James Heatley is in touch. Has a forward two and a half somersault with one twist and he really does need to deliver this dive to make sure he can come back later this afternoon 3.2 there might just be more than a hint of relief in that response from the Heatley clan Very quick in his rotations Ooh, thanks heavens for that. 65-60. That uh, will boost his total no end. That's where he should be. Lorenzo from Italy. Just dipped in the last round. Needs to get back. First two and a half somersault tucked. Should be an improvement on that 42 point result in the last round. Six, 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 five, Could have been better at the final stage of the entry, but 54 is definitely a disaster avoided. Pinko Palacic doing very well. Swedish diver. Very 
he came off towards the corner of the board. Didn't lose control of it, which was a good effort, and certainly worked hard on his entry position. 63. It's worth a smile. Nikolai Schaller. He's well off the pace, the young Austrian teenager, just 17. His senior debut. He's got the three metres still to come, so got this one out of the way. Back one half somersault. Pike, it's just a 2.3 degree of difficulty. Still at that stage of his career when he can't load his programme with more ambitious dives. Needs to be so well executed though to get a decent points return on a dive like that. 40-25. Settle for. Last dive of the penultimate round is Nikita Schneiker, who's within touch. Four two and a half somersault with a twist. Pike position. If you could scrape into the 60s with a points return for that, that would do him a lot of good. Again, he was way across to the edge of the board. Sixty-two forty. That's much better. We've not seen too many eights flying around. Well, they've been at it for an hour and forty minutes with their five rounds. One to go. This is how we stand. So the scoreboard after five or six rounds. Jack Law, class of his own, housing again. The pedigree coming to the top. Shows you take Parinsic, very impressive. James Heatley has got himself across into the cut. Jean Dard and Rudiger is the back marker, but he's got 0.3 spare over Garcia. Dingley has some work to do. And uh, really, they're starting to sort themselves out now. Three or four of them could make a, a dash to safety, but um, I'm afraid these last divers have no chance of being back this afternoon. So I'd say about 16 or 17 still in the hunt, maybe. Guillaume Dutrois, sixth, just needs to get that one away safely and has done the forward two and a half with a twist. Respectable a 62-40. Just go away and think about that second dive, which dropped to 49, but he's done okay. Patrick Housting has steadied successfully after a poor second dive, reverse two and a half somersault. Well, his qualification was never really in doubt, even with a poor dive in his programme. You know he's going to be back on the money as the competition develops. going to have a fair old battle with Jack Law for the top place on the podium. He knows he'll have to really perform at his best and certainly keep that bottom line of his scoring extremely high. See behind the scenes in position, weight between dives. I've not got that score yet confirmed. Silly is getting ready to dive. Still waiting for Housing's score. Just checking around the judges before they can confirm it. They won't go on until they're happy with it. Exactly a cliffhanger then dive. It's very safely away. Silly so has to keep his concentration. Mm -hmm. 
game's gone pretty smoothly so far. First delay we've had on a score. Officials still checking those scores before they will continue. Looking at Patrick Housting's fifth dive, which was pretty steady. But these points don't carry forward at all to the final. They start from scratch. They do determine the dive order, of course. Say Lee, he wants a quite vertical entry ideally is the message that crosses the language barriers there. Might remark on that last one perhaps. Don't look at me, Chief seems to be the message there. I press the button okay. Screen, it looks like these days. We do have uh, notepads or books of numbers there at the ready to uh, fall back on should the electronic system blow up or whatever. Have seen it happen. Usually in outdoor pools where the uh, of water and electrics can be a little bit uh, problematic. in day sport. Oh, we're going, uh, we're going analog here. In this digital age. Old school. to be entered into the electronic system. Those um, balloon marks. We do have uh, computer feeds in our commentary positions, which will confirm it for us, as well as going onto the screens there. They come up at a different pace sometimes. Bully big wigs are out. I have to say, this is a long delay. Uh, scores for Housing, which were pretty con 
condemning, really. Um, ends up with 19.20. Ironic applause there. Hopefully we're back on the proper system now. I think uh, Patrick Housting, it won't affect his qualification. He's got enough points in the bank for that disaster, but... Uh, quite happily seen them throw that away. Now, David Onselli needs to compose himself. Well, he's had a strange old day. After an exhaustive, exhausting wait, he's got up there and uh, made a decent effort of that one. 49.50. It's been a little inconsistent. Three poor dives in the middle. I think we'll see his return. Looks like Gendarme. He was 11th. So, with very little despair, reverse one and a half somersault, two and a half twists. As we look to pick up the pace again after that long delay. He was a long way back on the springboard decent dive though 61.50 that should we successfully see him he's got the second best total after law at this very early stage Garcia just outside reverse one and a half somersault two and a half twists a lot of twisting there Far more right than wrong. Be pleased to get into the uh, final. Missed out on a one metre final in the past, though he's been to the last two three metre finals. 63 is a good last tally, but he'll have to sweat it out until the results come through. Giovanni Tocci is in, say, fifth position in the two-and-a-half somersault tucked. <laughs> Safely done. to avoid a disaster there and he's more than done that with 64.5. Well, Jack Law will be mainly concentrating on finishing up with a nice, clean, good dive to put him in the mood for this afternoon when it's the second show of the programme. Looking a class apart here, Jack Law. Looking for his first European Championship individual gold. Some eights at last, 72. Finishing as he started with a 72-pointer. Impressive. Now, young Alberto here. Needs a good one. It's a 2.6 tariff on that forward two and a half somersault pike, so it needs to be exemplary to put pressure on those above. He's looking for sevens at least, but he didn't get many of those. 49.40. Breath for Dylan Vork, who's just below the cut but not out of range. That will not have done him any good at all. The four two and a half somersaults with a twist, and he knows it. Ugh, what a frustrating, pressure sport this is. No second chances. Have to do it on the day when it matters. And his chance of making the final has disappeared with a 28 20. 
Quintillo of Finland is well down on the last page of results. He will know that his not a considerable achievement is making this level of competition. Trying to keep the sport progressing back in Helsinki. 36 points, more like a stronger finish to wrap up the programme with. Uh, Ole Kaledi having nothing like the day he had yesterday, where he picked up that team gold. Be Try and improve on his form. But he's been well short of his best here. Three middle dives were disappointing. He had a 67.20, that'll be well below that. Yes, well below. 39.15, he's uh, lost it earlier on and knew he was out the race. Alexander Kostov, the 18-year-old Bulgarian out of Plymouth. Was a very untidy end to his program as well. A couple of decent dives, but ends up on the 40 50. First experience of this level of competition for Lapin has been quite tough. The Russian well down, forward to an half somersault with a twist piked to complete his program. There's only 3.2 dive Six. opened with a 57 35 but not managed to hit that scoring since so that's his best dive of the six with 59 20 in points terms anyway now oliver dingley is outside the cut at the moment he's got a four two and a half somersault the twist and pike position to make the cut. Well, he got bronze at three metres for England back in this same pool four years ago. He will be very disappointed to miss the final of this one. That's a better finish and a 65 60. Could well have salvaged it for him, but he will have to wait and see. Should be okay, he's up into sixth so far, but plenty more still to go. Now Rizal, who's out of the frame, with Belarusian. That's up the forward two and a half somersault with a twist. Piked. Started well, but couldn't maintain it. Could have been slicker, 49.60. Jack French is bringing up the rear. And he would just want to get back into the 40s at least for his last dive before three and a half somersault tucked. It's just that entry position which seriously undermines his work there it's not the only thing that matters but it's the last impression for the judges and it's a big pass out of the dive and it's 39 points and it's a big learning curve Jimmy Van Etten probably just out of it lost it a bit there was right on the edge of the board it was going to be very difficult to land a good dive 
from that takeoff. Toes over the edge and then couldn't get the entry position he needed. It's uphill all the way in that one for 22.50. Disappointing conclusion. Absolutely no hiding place in this. Now here's a man under the cosh, Lars Rudiger, who is in 12th position. Reverse one and a half somersault, two and a half twists to finish. Needs to deliver. That's pretty safely away. Had a couple of 40 points, sir, which have spoiled it for him. Avoided disaster there without it being perfect. 55-50. Should be back. Jonathan Tsuko of uh, Switzerland. Doing well. Seventh. Forward two and a half somersaults with a twist there. 3.2 tariff dive. Seven, seven, seven. If he gets in the final, it's a big improvement on last year. Shows he's learning, he's just 19. 65-60, that's a good final dive, his best yet under pressure, well done. Andre Sheshutek, a good morning so far. But that forward two and a half somersault twist Pikes looked a very tired dive. Has he got enough in the tank already to get to the finish line? At least in terms of the final, it was a poor dive, barely completed, 35-20. Make it an anxious little wait for him. Should be okay though. Ukraine's check with his final dive, that forward two and a half somersault with a twist. A really good start with a 63 pointer, but then couldn't get anywhere near that. And again, that's his weakest, so started well and ended an awful lot worse. Young Alexander Molchan, 16 year old, is uh, clear of the bottom. Can he deliver? Forward one, the half somersault. Two twists in a free position. 34.50 in his previous dives. He's had three in the 40s and a, a 58 and a 3.1. This is back down at 2.6, remember, so point score won't be huge. 48.10. Six and a half, not bad. Not bad. In his first appearance. Well, James Heatley has got himself. Back in the qualifying picture at 10th, the British diver based here in Edinburgh. He hasn't got much to spare. Inward two and a half somersault point, 3.4. It's a big finishing dive for him. He's got that one away very tidily. Well, a couple of below par dives made life a lot more difficult for him than it should be, but that one was uh, far nearer the top of the pack there. 68 points, safe. And so, Marcelia. Can't afford a slip up with that reverse one and a half, two and a half twists, and there didn't seem to be one. Seven, seven, seven. Your height. Decent entry position there, most of the way through. Safety down at 63. Very good morning for Vinko Paracic of Sweden. 
missed out on finals before. Seems to have finished up pretty safely. He made the European individual final before. Could have been in the 10 meter last year, but was just two places short. It's not his best, but will just about do the job at 42 points. He's fine, he's there, he's home, he's dry. Or well, he will be dry soon. Nikolai Charlotte, last but one. Just looking to get a nice clean forward three and a half somersault here. Still spinning away when he hit the water there, I'm afraid. Not a lot of control in that. Flies through the rotations but just does not come out of them. 15 points, that's pretty well the weakest I think we've seen. And finally Nikita Steiker, who's in ninth, who's got himself back on track for a disappointing second dive, the reverse one and a half, the two and a half twists. Wasn't his greatest, but we can just put a respectable points haul. Veering towards the edge there, but kept it reasonably under control and worked hard on his entry there. We've got 63 decent points and that's it just over two hours on the springboard to decide how many of these 27 will go away happy 12 we know let's find out who they are once the scores are confirmed so they have been up early and they've had a long morning and they'll come back Here we go with the confirmed results. Jack Law, 40 points clear. Very good day for Switzerland with two divers through and Italy with two through as well. James Heatley was safe in the air. Schleicher came back strongly. Perhaps it will be doing well for Sweden. Jean Dard is the Frenchman through. Garcia from Spain. Dingley just got there. Jejutek clung on. And the unlucky man with 2.6 points short is Rüdiger of Germany and Patrick Hausting well that's a shock with that terrible last dive and that awful wait for the points falls out of the frame and Austrians Schaller brings up the rear